Good morning, friends. This is Lindsay from The Checkered Pony. I'm coming at you again with a slightly different unboxing today. Um, just yesterday, I posted a video opening up all of my additional homeschool curriculum that we've received. And in my kit, um, I, I ordered each of these um, hands-on history project kits. I got one for each of my kids that I'm homeschooling next year, so I got three kits. But I kind of wanted to take you through and show you a little bit more detail of what's in this box because, <laughs> honestly, it's pretty cool. Um, so if you're considering homeschooling next year and um, this is something you might be interested in, they have this, this current kit available at the Sunlight website. I don't get anything for this, guys, okay? This is just me sharing it with you. Um, but it's also something that, you know, even if you're not homeschooling or um, it's just it just looks like something you think your kids would like, you can still get this stuff. I mean, you don't have to be a homeschool parent to order anything like this. This is just, could just be for, you know, summer activities. It just looks like it's going to be that much fun. So, um, first of all, here's our box. It's a super sturdy box. There's a spot on the back where you can write each child's name. Um, and then it just has, like it says, map where you're going because these, um, these crafts and activities are from, you know, various parts of the world. And so it wants you to, it's encouraging you to really, you know, understand where these um, different things are coming from. But it's a really, really nice box. We'll be using this all year long. And then this is what's inside. They are prepackaged um, projects. They can, Some of them can be very simple, like this one is the Astrolabe Quadrant. Um, you know, that's that's a very simple one. I mean, it doesn't look like it's going to be extremely complicated, but it looks, it will be something, come on camera, that, um, <laughs> why can't my camera focus? Um, will be really cool to, to explain to the kids why it works, how it works, where it came from, why, why it came into existence. There's the signet ring, which um, there's some clay and, and a toothpick. Again, the, these ones on the top seem to be pretty, um, pretty simple, but everything, what I love about this box is everything is included. Every, 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 everything. The only thing you would, might need in addition to what's in here is like a pencil. <laughs> okay, everything is included. I mean, golly, they give you your glue even, okay? Um, but here is a kit for Viking runic carvings, and so it looks like you'll, we'll be making a little, like a little bag, and then be making our own um, Viking runic carvings on the little um, little tablets, wooden tablets. Um, this one is a pretty um, hefty kit, but I think the kids will really enjoy making this. It's the Viking jewelry box. And so, you know, there's all kinds of... Why, what is up with my camera today? Come on, camera. Um, but it's, it's toothpicks, and there's ribbon, and jewels, and paint and I mean j golly it's everything everything for the kit guys so you don't have to go out <laughs> there's a paintbrush you don't have to go out and buy every single little thing to make this so here's there's four kits already okay so those are the the little ones on top um, which I mean I say little and I just mean in, in size because I think these are gonna be so much fun and I think my kids are absolutely absolutely going to love making these um, so I haven't looked in the bag to see. I think this might just be a picture of what um, the uh, the craft is that you're making. Because, um, yeah, just to give you an idea of, of what it is or what it will look like, here's the Globe Theater. Um, and then this is like, um, it feels like the foam, maybe. That's either cardstock or foam. Um, sheets but um, you can make it we're gonna make a globe theater and so oh, that might actually be the uh, the figures in there in the on printed on the paper somewhere all right so we're also going to be making a samurai helmet and so this is the foam um, craft sheets um, that we'll be making the samurai helmet out of I should have moved all my stuff before I got started here we go Okay, and then we've got, what's next? We're going to be making a letter press. That's cool. And it's going to be so fun because some of these things, they probably have never heard of. 
And they're, now they're going to know what it is and where it came from and when it came from. Here's a piece of black cardboard, um, not cardboard, um, construction paper. I'm sure that will be used somehow. Um, this is the 1903 Wright Brothers Flyer. You're gonna, we're going to be building an airplane, guys. That's awesome. Okay, and then in here we've also got stained glass. And so, yeah, there's tissue paper on the back of that, black construction paper. So here's all of the different things we're going to be making. And then it looks like we've got an instruction book because this is for World History 2. And then in the bottom we've got some, okay, black powder. I don't know exactly what that's going to be for, but then we've also got glue dots. Okay, and then that's our box. And then here is our instruction booklet, and yeah, it's going to walk us through step by step each of the activities and how to build it, how to construct it, where it's from, when it's from, how to use it. I mean, it's, it's everything, and it's a nice book. This is super cool, you guys. So seriously. Even if, um, oh, here, here's the templates in the back. Okay, so seriously, if you're considering homeschooling, this makes it so, this is what makes it super, super fun, okay? If things are still closed down and we're not allowed to go out a lot of places, you got to bring the history home. <laughs> and so this is a great hands-on way to really explore some history and um, have fun, be creative, not be on a tablet all the time and actually make something with your hands. The kids are going to eat it up. Um, but even if you're not, like I said, even if you're not considering it for school, consider it for summertime. Consider just making stuff. Um, or, you know, if you're a teacher and you just need ideas, this is awesome. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to share that with you guys. I hope you've enjoyed it. It was super short. I'm probably going to make another video here later on of what my curriculum notebook is going to look like and how we kind of make our way through our day. Um, but yeah, this is definitely a, a super fun piece of our homeschool plan for next year. All right, you guys, I'll talk to you soon. Bye.